Hello friends, this is going to be a tutorial about how to uh, look at photo galleries and download photos off of Google uh, Photos. And I'm doing this for a good friend of mine who has taken a, some folks on an Israel tour, a tour to the Holy Lands. So I want to give a big shout out to Jamie Parsons Ministries, who does, uh, in my understanding, I've not been with him yet, but uh, one of the best Israel tours you can possibly go on. I'm sure the folks who went with Jamie could attest to that. So what I've done, I did a cataloging job for Jamie, and a, a young man named Nathan shot all these photos that you're getting ready to see. Jamie could share more about Nathan's uh, services for photography. He did, he did some excellent shots, though. So what I've done, I've taken all of Nathan's photos, and I've categorized them, and he had some that were uh, edited photos for uh, they're actually two different parts of Israel tours. He had them all together, but since uh, Google pictures will only do up to 500 photos. I had to put part in one and part in I had to make a second part. Then there were also some Jordan photos, which are here. And then he had select photos from every day. You know, day 11 may have been lumped in with one of these two. I did not find any uh, photos in Nathan's collection designated as select photos for day 11. But all of his photos are here. These are the ones that he edited, all this right here, the edited photos and the select photos. So these are the ones that have had his uh, finishing touches put on those, and they're beautiful photos. Then he had a whole bunch of just raw photos. They weren't really raw. They were JPEGs, but they were the unedited versions, and here are every single one of those. So there are a lot of multiples, uh, duplicates and things or different angles and all that are in here in these. So you might even want to dig deeper than what he has here in his select photos, but I want you to see what we had here. And this is the way that it works to go to them. I have one open here. I'll go ahead and close it. Let's go to, for instance, Select Photos Day 2. We'll click on this, and it should take you to a shared Google folder, which is on a Google Drive, but it's in Google Photos. Google Photos comes with Google Drive. If you've never noticed it, if you have a Google account, you can go here and click, and you can see that there is photos here. It might be in a different place. You can drag these things around. But uh, if you have a Google account, you'll have a Google Drive, you'll have a Google Photos, you'll have a YouTube channel, a calendar, and all that. Well, Google Photos is where these are, and these are in shared folders, shared by Jamie Parsons. And you see I'm logged in as myself up here. I'm not logged in as Jamie. But what this allows us to do is go to these photos, click on one of them, and then we can use these little arrows left or right. It'll be, if, if you're on the first photo, it's not one over here. But if you roll your little mouse over here to the right, You'll see there's an arrow there, and you can click, and you can segue through these photos and take a look at them. So there we go. We can look at these photos. And if you want to go back, you go back over here. After you've gone past the first one, you'll have a left arrow. You can click over here, and you can go back and forth to these photos. Now, what you can do, if you see a photo in particular that you like, that you want, you can go over here. If you have a Google account, you can do add to library and it'll add it to your library. But the better thing to do in most cases is go to more options and go to download. So if you look here again, let's go back. There are these three little dots here. And you click on more, excuse me, click here, and you click on download. And if you'll see down here, now I'm using Google Chrome. Doesn't matter, it might, might look a little different, might act a little different when you do it in your uh, browser if you're not using Chrome. I highly suggest using Chrome with this though if you have it. And then you can go here and you can say show in finder or uh, it may be a dip show in folder. And here it is. Here's the photo from the Golan Heights. And if we double click on it, it's now on our computer, wherever you designated it. And there you go. You can take that image from that folder. You could put, it, put a thumb drive in your computer and you could drag this over to a thumb drive. Let's say that folder is a thumb drive. And I want to put it in there. I could do that. I'm not going to do that though. I'll go ahead and put it back in here. For our example, but all you have to do is mount a drive of some sort, and you take it and you can print those, or you can send them off to a place that does it electronically. Um, there are a number of photo houses that you can just submit them to online, but typically I'll take them to Walmart or Sam's or somewhere and print my photos or to a Staples. So let's go back. So let's say uh, if we click this little button up here, this little arrow at the top, it'll take you back to the select photos for that day. Let's say you want to download this entire album of, of beautiful photos. Then all we have to do is go to the dots here in this window. So we go to the to the area where the uh, and I have not I need to change that to photos. Done. It's a bit of thoughts. 
But any rate, if you go to the arrows here, you can download all of these simultaneously. So you click Download All, and down here at the bottom of my screen, I see that it's happening. Those photos are all downloading. Now it's going to put them into a .zip file. Whether you're using a PC or a Mac, now I am using a Mac at this point, but this works the same way on a PC. It will zip up the photos and it will put them in a folder somewhere. Typically, again, I'm using Chrome. I'll click on this little arrow. I say Show in Finder. And it shows me where the zip file is. You can see I've downloaded uh, day four. But now I'm day two. So we have to expand that zip folder. And we just double click on it. And it usually automatically expands. Whether you've got a PC or a Mac. Then you can double click on this. And there are all the photos. So we can double click on one of these and we can take a look at the church. And they're beautiful photos. Again, all you have to do to go print these is either do it online or set up a folder or a thumb drive and then drag to highlight these. You can highlight it by doing a Control A or Command A if you're using a Mac to select all. Or you can do a Edit Select All. And then you just drag those and copy them over to somewhere. I'm not going to do that again. We're going to read those later, but that is how you download all these photos, and they're in the resolution that uh, Nathan shot them in, so they're in very high resolution, beautiful photos. Uh, say you want to show these to a friend or something, and you want them to be sort of a slideshow. You see here again, if you go up into these more options here, then you can say uh, show, excuse me, slideshow, and it goes into a slideshow mode. And, it, and without having to click on anything, about every five seconds, it should segue to another photo. And so there we go. If we wait and watch, that's how we do it. And to get out of this mode, you'd hit your escape key. It's usually in the upper left of your, uh, your PC or Mac. So I'll hit escape, and now we're out. We're out of that. We can hit, again, a little white arrow up here to get back to the gallery. So again, all the galleries are here. I've shared every single one of the galleries of the edited photos and of the complete unedited, fo unedited photos. So let's say you want to do the marriage at Cana of, of Galilee or whatever, you'll see there's a whole lot more photos here than were probably in Nathan's select folders. So that's the last thing I'm going to show you here is that all the raw unedited photos, again I keep saying raw, they're not camera raw, uh, they're just JPEGs, but you'll see some of them are a little out of focus. And that's the reason probably that Nathan might not have put those in the select folders. But still, there might be photos here that you would like to see. So there we go, folks. That is how uh, the Google Photos works. Again, uh, this is your key to everything, or all these galleries that I've set up here. And you can download the entire photo galleries or individual photos as you want them if you want to print them. The uh, last thing that perhaps I might show you here, let's go to select photos for day seven, is if you want to share a photo with someone, that's certainly fine too. Let's say you want to share this beautiful panorama of the Temple Mount. You go here and you do have standard share buttons. And so you can go here and you can find friends that you might have. These are some of my friends. And you can click on that person and you can share. Or you can get a link that you can share with a dozen people. Let's say it's someone who's not in here, an email. You can type an email in or you can go get a link. And this will give you a shareable link that you can share with your friends. You just hit copy. And then you have that link. You can go to your email. Let's compose a new email. And here is my email. I'm going to send it to myself. Lynn at gmail.com. Beautiful photo. I'll put the link in here. I'll hit send. Now since I sent that to myself, I can go to my inbox and I can see the link to beautiful photo here. And if I click on it, it will share just that beautiful photo with me. And then that the person that you share that with can download that as well if they want to. So there you go. That is a quick tutorial on how to use Google Photos to go through and look at all the beautiful photos from your Jamie Parsons trip. Again, for those of you who are not a part of this tour, um, you might want to consider going on a tour with Jamie Parsons. And I'll put the link 
to Jamie's website and how you can get in touch with him. He does, to my knowledge, some of the best Holy Land tours ever. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.